Hi, I'm Matt. This video will show you how to search for some useful briefing material, such as weather and NOTAM, using the NAPES internet service, otherwise known as NIS. Once logged in, the NIS welcome page features important notices, so please take the time to read through these on a regular basis. You will see on the left that the briefing tab is already opened. From here, click Location Briefing. You can obtain briefing information by entering known locations in these fields, such as aerodrome codes, flight information region, or FIR codes, head office codes, military airspace groups, or even individual PRD, restricted area. If you're unsure of the specific code for a location, you can search the location directory using the link here. For example, we can't remember the code for the Gold Coast Aerodrome, so let's type in Gold Coast and click search. You can see we are provided with three options. We want to use the Gold Coast Aerodrome. When you select the blue text under Unique Name, the identifier will be automatically populated in the location briefing. You can now search for another location, or select Close to return to the main screen. But let's use this opportunity to search for another location. The location directory can be helpful for finding the codes for airspace groups. For example, to get all NOTAM for Oki airspace, you can type Oki in and click search. You can see we are presented with two options, Oki airspace and Oki aerodrome. Let's select Oki airspace. When you're finished, simply click close to return to the main screen. Other information that I require for my briefing today will be the area forecast for area 40, which is simply entered as 40. Keep in mind that this will only provide the R4 for Area 40. A note at the end of the R4 indicates this. To obtain FIR NOTAMs, you may enter an FIR code, YBBB or YMMM. However, as our flight is only within Area 40, we can request FIR NOTAMs that only affect us by using a sub-FIR code. The difference in using a sub-FIR code over an FIR code, like YBBB, or YMMM means you are able to reduce the number of NOTAM that you receive in a briefing. Each time the NOTAM offers issues an FIR NOTAM, they restrict it to particular R4 areas. The coding convention for sub FIR NOTAM is 7 area code 0. So for area 40, we will enter 7400. It is important to note that because we are using the location briefing function, not the area briefing function, that using a sub-FIR code will not produce any NOTAM relevant to aerodromes, nav aids, or published PRD airspace within Area 40. These have their own codes and they must be entered separately. For example, if you intend to use Archerfield as an alternate for Oki, then you would enter Archerfield. And as the route would take you through Ambly, also include AMX. Moving on. The filter options below allow you to isolate the search to both MET and NOTAM or either. The other filter is for Head Office NOTAM, which will provide you with NOTAM related things like document changes to the AOP package, including updates to charts, and trigger NOTAM regarding AOP SUPs and AICs that are relevant for all airspace users. Validity defaults to 24 hours. This can be reduced to 1 hour or expanded out to 240 hours or 10 days. Keep in mind, when briefing too far in advance, you will be required, in accordance with AIP on Route 1.10 Flight Plan Preparation, to obtain an update within one hour of departure to ensure that the latest information available can be used for the flight. Finally, ticking Include SIGMAT will provide you with any valid SIGMATs that are current. Select Submit and you'll be presented with your briefing. At this point, you have the ability to print the report or select back to return to the original request. We hope you found today's video helpful. Further information can be obtained from the NAPES Instant Service User Manual, which is located in the Documents and Downloads section. If you have any questions, please call the briefing office on 1800 805 150. If you have any feedback or would like to see an educational package on a certain topic, please fill out the Contact Us form, which is located on the Air Services website under Contact Us.